When you think of the sun, the UK isn't the first country that comes to mind, let alone the northernmost part of it. The Isle of Skye is a hidden gem. It still is, trust me. The views, the roads, the photos. I mean, you just have to point your camera in any direction and you're bound to capture beautiful landscape, 360 degrees. So, what makes a good landscape photo? I tell you what doesn't. Bright sunlight. And it was sunny almost every single day in the Isle of Skye. And we Brits love to complain about the weather, no matter what it is. So I've got mine out of the way now. Contrast. The sun works as a natural contrast provider. It's a hard source of light which comes in very handy when used correctly. Now, you can't move the sun at will as much as you'd like to, so you have to work with what you've got. Here are a few compositions where the sun provides contrast in the photos, making them look very good. One of the other benefits of staying in a location for a long period of time is that you'll be able to visit the key locations multiple times of the day. And let me tell you, the same location looks completely different depending on what time of the day it is that you're there. Let's take a look at a couple of photos from Kerrang. This is a middle of the day photo, which has a little bit of depth to it and it's acceptable. I think it's an okay photo. Nothing shouts out about it, but it's okay. If you now fast forward a few hours, closer towards sunset, we now have the same location, maybe a few feet apart. But the difference in the photos is night and day. There's more contrast, depth, the light. It's all wow. What do you think? This type of thought process can only really happen when you have your camera with you at all times. Taking photos, lots and lots of them, maybe at the same location, but at different times of the day, and different angles maybe? Most importantly, you have to review your work, because that will lead to better photos and in itself make you a better photographer. I hope you enjoyed the video and the photos that I've taken. I'd love to hear which one of these is your favourite. I know which one's mine. I'm Sohil, and I'll see you in the next one.